Hello, my name is Dr. Dominic Nischwitz. I'm a specialist in biological dentistry and ceramic implants. This video is about cavitations or so-called NICOs, how we call them. NICO actually is not correct because this is a pathological um, yeah, term and it's, it stands for neuralgia inducing cavitation and osteonecrosis and it's actually invented by Dr. Boucault, who is a pathologist. And so that's a nice name, that's why we use it, but in from terms of, a, of an x-ray or a cone beam CT, it's just an osteolytic process in your bone, which we diagnose at the beginning. But this so-called cavitations or ischemic osteonecrosis or fatty degenerative osteonecrosis are areas in your bone that are very, yeah, that, that are chronic inflamed. Normally, they develop after extraction of teeth. So mostly the most teeth that, that get extracted are the wisdom teeth area. And normally wisdom teeth get extracted when you are in your youth, yeah, in between 14 and 21 years. And normally nobody cares about your peri-surgical protocol, meaning you just have an appointment for surgery and then surgery will be done without measurements of vitamin D3, LDL cholesterol or other micronutrients which are important to restore and regenerate and rebuild bone. That's the main problem. So initially the cause for a cavitation is just a lack of nutrients. That's why we have developed the bone healing protocol to yeah, start four weeks prior to surgery with the right nutrients to boost up your vitamin D3, your immune system and your um, yeah, your growth, bone growth material, so that that won't happen. And then we have to clean out these spots because initially it's a lack of nutrients, but then this part doesn't get healed properly, only a little bit gum on top, maybe a tiny little cortical bone area, but inside it's all mushy, mostly fatty degenerative osteonecrotic bone. And it's like a big, huge dumping area of your body where you can find everything like, of course, all these anaerobic bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasites, and also heavy metals and pesticides, all toxins, you name it. And the huge problem with that is always the cavitation is surrounding the, the nerve, which is the trigeminous nerve, yeah, the lower part. And this is totally connected to your brain stem. And from all 12 brain nerves, this is the biggest. It takes about 50% of all the brain nerves so it's it's uh, has a huge impact on, on your whole body and it's totally connected to the autonomous nervous system to all your organs in your body that's very important normally this area is from the odontonic chart connected to small intestine to the adrenals the adrenals and to your um to your heart meridian yeah so most problems are like chronic silent problems, not at the spot, but somewhere else in your body, like a focal infection. And the most, yeah, the usual suspects are um, chronic fatigue syndrome because your adrenals just burn out of the chronic stress that gets produced every day. For the other hand, it's like anxiety or being a little over nervous from all the stress, yeah, because the adrenals are able to produce a lot of stress. They get like stress problems and anxiety and yeah, too much nervousness, can't sleep. And, and it's skin problems yeah, because of the small intestine. So actually it's intestinal problems, but normally you see it on your skin. If you have like skin rashes and red, red dots on your face, always, and, the, and your diet is on point and you have the right supplements, always suspect an interference. It could be the cavitations, but it could also be root canals, but cavitations is mostly the small intestinal area, adrenals. And also it could, of course, develop with every tooth you extract without proper nutrient timing surrounding the surgery because your body is probably in hibernation mode having a lack of vitamin D3 and other critical minerals so that your body is not able to heal. So in order to restore every bone, like after every teeth or with every surgery, surgery we would do, we have a special surgical protocol so that your body is always immunologically boosted and can regenerate to the fullest so that I don't catch you in hibernation mode while we're doing surgery, but in full healing mode. And after surgery, you will probably go into parathympathetic. A lot of people are, because of these silent inflammations, always in chronic stress, yeah, in 
yang sympathetic mode and after surgery you will go into parasympathetic mode so it's very important for your overall health cavitations develop mostly in the wisdom teeth area or the second wisdom teeth area or in every spot where you extract teeth without proper um yeah nutrient timing before like lack of nutrients and wrong diet and the wrong protocol but we have the right protocol for that and can help you in this area for this day over and out Dr. Domain.